and it should work. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, I think we're live. This works. So I, I can I can see it on my screen now. So uh, so I think we'll start. So um, hello everyone. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you. Um, Dr. Srinivasan Sundarajan, a renowned scientist and the former director of NID Trichy. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, mental health in college campuses and thank you all for tuning in. So he's been in academia for many, many years now and he's been a trailblazer in this field and he's known for his infectious enthusiasm. And he was very, very lovingly called the Dumbledore of NID Trichy. So it's such a pleasure to have you here with us today, sir. Um, how are you? Oh, good, good. Nice to see you, Soumya. I always remember you. We are sharing our birthday. Yes, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> the very, very close by. <laughs> yes. So That's this true. is it's so great to have you here. How have you been? How have the last uh, last few years been? In fact, it's good. Pandemic has uh, taken its toll everywhere. And um, uh, well, uh, but in fact, uh, I really appreciate your hope. You know, it's a very good initiative. Very good initiative. Because they, this is one thing which is uh, required, mm -hmm. and uh, we we are also that's something. Now we are able to meet uh, online. You know, so yes. This was not possible because of uh, logistics problem, physical problem, all those things are there. So pandemic has got a good effect. You know, meeting and sharing our thoughts. Absolutely. So definitely, I, I I think the last few years have been okay, challenging, but of course good. Okay. So that, that's great to know. Uh, I think I think now uh, since we met the last time, I have one degree now. So <laughs> that's 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 some progress. Uh, but uh, today we'll be talking about uh, mental health in college campuses and uh, with within the student community and just topics related to that. So um, the pandemic has presented so many different challenges to people in academia, be it the teachers, students, or educators, decision makers, everyone. And the student community has been vulnerable to these changes that have happened suddenly with results of like schools closing down, colleges closing down, everything being online, labs and classes and all these unexpected changes that have suddenly happened to their life, like all of us. And since the pandemic began, according to the statistics, the cases of anxiety, depression and stress have just skyrocketed and particularly in the student community. And this could be due to fears, fear of like their health, their loved one's health or academic performance and sleeping patterns, decreased concentration, and just so, so many other factors that have just suddenly come in. And acknowledging and seeking help is the way forward, but more often than not, because of the lack of awareness, acknowledging is where it, where it stops. Um, the seeking help and making that extra little step, it doesn't happen sometimes. And the awareness about mental health in the student community in general is a very sensitive topic to talk about. And as an individual, you have been in the academia for so, so long now, and you have seen this change um, happen. What are your thoughts on, on this situation? No, you have taken a very interesting and delicate topic. You are right. It is uh, very difficult to discuss uh, this topic, you know, uh, because uh, we know about physical health. You see, physical health, we get some disease, illness, we go and meet the doctor, and then go through some tests, take some medicine, take some treatment, and then come back again. You know, they, we, are, we are back to normal. Mm -hmm. Mental health is not like that. Mental health is uh, difficult to detect. Mm -hmm. uh, see, we ourselves may not know that we are having a mental problem. And the next step is uh, when we are having the problem, others may not know that we are having the problem. Mm -hmm. And it is very difficult to detect. You know, that's a major issue. Second, like how you go to the hospital and then get our treated mental health we don't want to do anything you see uh, there is a always a stigma attached if you go and meet some psychiatrists and psychoanalysts and all no? mm -hmm. so what is wrong what is wrong with them so we, we don't want to do it anything openly you know it's it's a it's a major issue and i in fact in the academic line i found it uh, challenging i faced a number of issues you know, we, you, you know, in the institute we have mm -hmm. problems with the associations or uh, academics and all. So many, so many things are there. 
but uh, this is one issue which uh, i found it really challenging to tackle uh, that that is a very major uh, hmm. very major problem we have to tackle and uh, I, in, in fact that's why i i really appreciated uh, uh, when i came to know about your hope you know this is uh, something which is uh, you know which 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 will normally by creating awareness uh, we get out of the problem and uh, you are doing an excellent job on this and congratulations it's good yes thank you thank you so much sir i, I think uh, the first step into making a difference is educating people about the existence of these issues and i think that's that's where uh, that's how we started this initiative and we have a wonderful team of people working towards it and uh, thank you thank you so much for your kind words so the, the next question we have is um, a lot of the times um, college can be stressful largely because of just hectic workloads because when people come straight off of school and undergrad um, can can have like very difficult um, timetables and that could take a toll on like people's mental health not being good enough or not making um, progress in like the and and like meeting deadlines and something like that so how do you think um, for a student their peers and the professors because these are the Com this is the community that's around them in a college atmosphere and how can the peers and the professors help them feel a little better and make this process of like transition and also existing in that atmosphere a little bit easier so well, this is a very important uh, aspect a uh, very important aspect mm -hmm. you know uh, in the institute in the institute whether online mm -hmm. or offline we have very hectic uh, workload It's very hectic work, uh, but uh, uh, over stressing, over stressing beyond our limit, uh, is a question. But it's also a motivation factor. You know, normally, uh, uh, in fact, Dr. Kalam felt, uh, you know, he normally he adopts uh, everybody will be loaded to two fifty percent. That is two point five times to your capability. He was loading the people because he strongly believed. the increased work schedule is a motivation factor uh, but there's a catch there's a catch there increased work schedule is a motivation factor when you like the job what you are doing you see when you like the job what you are doing you are ready to get into any extent you know we know in september and uh, pranjyan and all uh, students work around the clock uh, you know they they don't get tired yeah but, mentally they never get tired physically they may be tired but mentally they never get tired so uh, definitely hectic workload is always good mm -hmm. but then there is one underlying factor uh, aspiration see all of us have got our own dreams we aspire to become somebody i used to ask questions with uh, uh, every student i meet no what is your aspiration uh, uh, very very rarely i uh, i find uh, somebody saying that my aspiration is to become a good computer scientist or a good metallurgist good mechanical engineer and all no they don't say that they always reply that uh, you know i i would like to uh, i aspire to be a movie director you know or a scientist or fashion designer some people are going to like fashion designer i like painting so their aspirations uh is uh, you know they are different mm -hmm. but uh, you see what's happening when you get into jee and when you get the rank and uh, then when you get an admission in nit or iit anywhere wherever you go so it's a great achievement so parents are extremely happy that uh, you are able to crack something and mm -hmm. then you are getting into a great institute and all at that time they they don't bother about what you aspire to become okay so invariably i have seen uh, students joining with a different dream with a dream for themselves but uh, then doing something else you know i uh, you know this movie three idiots yes, three sir. idiots uh, it's a real picture of a campus life it's a real picture in fact i understood mo most uh, most of the behavior i understood by and going through the three years movie you know how many times i have seen <laughs> more than 100 times you know repeated repeated 
you know people used to say that you know there is a movie tamil movie padayappa and all no that that somebody sees the movie again and again but i replayed it again and again and uh, it's a uh, it's a, because it gives a real good picture the situation mm-hmm. is people with aspire, aspiring for something join something else so there is a gap between what you are doing what you plan to do and what you aspire to do so this is creating a lot of tension this is in fact the freshers when they come in they face this problem and mm-hmm. they, uh, and that too in an online uh, pro- program mode uh, at least when they come to the college uh, we you know uh, we we expose them to many things yes. we expose them to many things what are the advantage okay there are so many clubs and all yeah, but uh, here in the online there is nothing like uh, you know it's an online orientation so they they miss this the orientation becomes uh, very 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 important uh, for us and yes. in fact that was the problem which i faced first uh, because we used to have one day orientation program mm-hmm. and then students join the uh, classes afterwards but you know what happens because people coming from different regions they are coming to trichy a new mm-hmm. language new atmosphere very hot atmosphere and uh, from home life they come to hostel life they have to share with another two or three mm-hmm. and uh, uh, then uh, it, it become that, that time the ragging used to be a major issue mm-hmm. uh, two issues were the ragging and as well as the drug drug uh, addiction Bo- both were serious issues at that time Mm-hmm. and that, uh, that that is the one uh, which uh, you know we, we for sorting out that uh, uh, ragging issue somebody suggested mm-hmm. that uh, uh, why can't you see I, i come to the second year now mm-hmm. and i know what are the problems of the students see it is not faculty or anybody who are aware of this so when we are coming to the second year we know what are the issues what you are facing in the campus mm-hmm. including the uh, you know including the rag mm-hmm. so why can't we allow us to do something which we will be doing and that was a beautiful discussion that's where we worked out a 21 days orientation program that was done for the first time in the country at that time now everybody is following that mm-hmm. uh, you know it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, 21 you would have undergone that uh, program no 21 days you have to go through music dance and you are getting exposed to the Uh, institute hmm. so uh, that that is uh, another one we we uh, then they started the group average and average took care of uh, the uh, making people comfortable mm-hmm. so the very first issue which is uh, which is to be tackled is uh, how to make life comfortable mm-hmm. uh, in the campus right yeah. uh, life is comfortable at home some or other you share with your parents you share with your brothers sisters and something is there something happens here it's all together alien you know alien you know this is mm-hmm. this is a different atmosphere altogether yes so that is uh, another uh, another aspect mm-hmm. the drug issue we thought that uh, you know we is of catching the people and punishing them uh, the, there's a famous uh, statement no punish the crime mm-hmm. don't punish the criminal mm-hmm. we try to find out where the source of uh, you know for punishment and all where the source of drugs and all we stopped and uh, then mostly it was brought down to very 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 uh, say very, very, you know it, it in terms of it was in a large number we brought it less than 40 okay. the number of students were addicted hmm. but then uh, how to tackle this was uh, again this is this is a one issue a psychiatrist or a, a academic person or anybody nobody can sort out mm-hmm. the parents are away academicians they don't get into that faculty you know even though you call them mentors and all mm-hmm. uh, there is no way of uh, getting into them when you have a surprise check and all they know when it is a surprise check and then they they are all right at that time so mm-hmm. that was the, that's where i think i should share a secret with you now why i had uh, you know in the campus i had what is called a uh, Uh, campus intelligence group intelligence group mm-hmm. campus intelligence group we had the stu- actually it's a student managed uh, site mm-hmm. right. so we had the students uh, from uh, you know in fact the, uh, if anybody is uh, getting into this issue the person who will come to know of it is his own friend circle mm-hmm. or 
in the hostel, somebody in the wing will mm -hmm. come to know what's the problem. So uh, there, they, this we, we so they, they became the member of this uh, uh, intelligence group. You know, mm -hmm. intelligence group they watch, observe, and act, and they are independent. This is uh, so secret uh, secrecy maintained. It is much more than uh, uh, you know you were a CIA or a KGP because nobody even knew, including me. Mm -hmm. Nobody, none of us know who are the members of this group. Right. You know, members are from different places. We we didn't know who are the members because these are all volunteers coming from various uh, things. They know the responsibilities and they were very active. In fact, that worked. They were very active. In fact, some some case they 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 chased they they got the problem. The guy informed the parent, mm -hmm. and very popular man. He came and he saw that. Then he took back his uh, son and mm -hmm. uh, got him set him all right and sent him back. You know, this boy when he came back, uh, he became ambassador for us. So yeah. he started giving talk on what are the effects of uh, this. You know. This, mm -hmm. so these are these are some of the things uh, which uh, 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 it's a reality. The hectic schedule is a reality. The, right. The, uh, different aspects, different groups, all reality. But of course, we have to manage uh, uh, with that uh, thing. But it's a it's a it was a challenging challenging task. Mental health we gave the priority. It was a mm -hmm. challenging. Task. Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much for that answer. I think we definitely did not know about the intelligence group. So that's a little secret. Uh, but uh, we have some questions coming in in the chat, which we will ask um, right after these um, sets. So uh, to all the people that are writing in questions, we'll definitely ask them. Um, so the next question is, um, the students who started in the pandemic years in 2020 and 2021 have not set foot on campus yet. And it's almost been like two years. And they've been deprived of this campus atmosphere, this college atmosphere that everyone talks about when you get out of school, because there's so many opportunities and the space to learn and grow. So what would you like to tell them to keep their motivation up? Because when everything is online, it's so difficult to um, stay motivated and stay, stay just equally motivated for like every single day when you wake up. In fact, this is uh, uh... This, this is a very serious issue, not only our students, everybody is facing, everybody is facing uh, this issue. Online learning uh, is, a, is a new 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 experience for us. Yes. And uh, of course, we have to get adjusted with the online learning. But uh, the, the uh, you know, the way we are sitting in front of the computer, and learning from the computer, mm -hmm. learning from this, uh, you know, from what is being taught, it is a, it is a problem. See, when you when you say it's a, the 2020 uh, students are having problem, it is true. But the pandemic has created prop issues for everybody. It is not for 2020 students alone, mm -hmm. but uh, it is for everybody, for everybody, for every walk of life. So this is something we are not planned for it. Mm -hmm. So this is a challenge. Of course, definitely it's a challenge, but uh, we have to uh, we have to convert this challenge into opportunity. Definitely, we have to convert the opportunity. See, when we are getting into uh, online learning, or we aren't able to enter into the college for the last one year, everybody talks great about NIT Trichy, but we don't know what is it about, mm -hmm. and we don't have that orientation program. The okay, don't uh, take the council the. the mm -hmm. uh, the technical clubs, all those things, we, we, we are not getting exposed to that. So this is the worry everybody is having. And perhaps some, some may, they may also be thinking that we are losing that one year. You know, mm -hmm. uh, this is actually a tension. Another way the tension is getting created is uh, when we are uh, getting into online lectures, mm -hmm. the, the, earlier it was teaching. Mm -hmm. Now teaching has gone. It is a called learning. Now, right. teaching is uh, yeah, somebody, the teacher comes and gives a lecture for one hour, and then we take notes, and uh, all those things have gone now. It's a question because everything is available in the internet. Hmm. It's a question of combined learning. And uh, hmm. this aspect uh, for online learning, it is requiring a different type of uh, practice. It's not appreciated by the faculty, so by the teachers. 
So if they continue to talk for 45 minutes or one hour, like how they talk in, uh, uh, you know, in the class, we, we, the, the person who's sitting in front, he cannot concentrate. He cannot concentrate. Maximum you can concentrate is the, uh, maybe psych psychologists say that you can concentrate, focus on 11 minutes to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. More than 15 minutes, whatever you talk, is all blah, blah, blah. Nothing will go into your mind. Irrespective of whatever the mm -hmm. level of your knowledge and all, is, you know, whatever it is. So that 15 minutes is not understood. 15 minutes should be followed by some other activity, mm -hmm. some other revision, some other assignment, some other, uh, you know, uh, puzzles or something like that to make it interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is not being followed. When this is not being followed, the students get into stress. Mm -hmm. Second, in front of computer, you cannot see the thing is you see our own uh, now alumni, they are all working online for eight hours, nine hours together. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes online thing goes for 12 hours also. Yes. Studying is not like that. Perhaps you can you can have a three hours uh, lecture every day, maximum. Mm -hmm. You know, it is not a continuous uh, thing. Morning, two hours, afternoon, one hour, something like that. Mm -hmm. So for the online, people are not understood the amount of load anybody can take. Mm -hmm. they, they are, that is a one, uh, you know, that, that is one challenge. We, when you feel what we gain, what we gain is, uh, especially for the students of 2020, hmm. what we gain is, uh, of course, the subjects, what they are taking up, like physics, chemistry, mathematics, they are familiar with. Hmm. It is not something new that uh, subject is going to offer them, something they have to understand and then start. So that way, they are not at loss as far as the understanding of the subject is concerned. Maximum what they can do is perhaps... Uh, when they come to the uh, uh, institute, mm -hmm. uh, they can go through some bridge courses. Okay. Bridge courses to be taken by seniors, not by faculty. The seniors can take the uh, bridge courses for them to make them comfortable. That this is your, uh, uh, this is your uh, uh, discipline. This is how mm -hmm. we are to do it all. That that is uh, uh, that, that is that. Of course. I, I should congratulate the seniors because mm -hmm. I, I'm seeing, uh, you know, the, the activities of technical clubs yes. and uh, cultural clubs have increased multifold during the pandemic time. I never expected that. In fact, I recently I went through the report of uh, Student Council. We, uh, they, they have submitted a beautiful report of uh, all that uh, technical clubs, activities of technical clubs and uh, cultural clubs. They have taken the lead and they are done. They have, they have converted that, uh, uh, they have definitely converted the challenge into opportunity. Right. So uh, this uh, this is one aspect uh, our students should take up. Second aspect is, okay, you are going to take up uh, some course on mechanical, electrical, civil, whatever it is. But you may be having some aspirations, like I, mm -hmm. what I said. You would like to go for a higher education to uh, the universities and mm -hmm. US, like the, what, how we are done. So you have to prepare for that. What is required? What is required for GRG, GMAT and all? What is required for that? Or persons who are uh, uh, trying to get into the, you know, the public sectors, government, IITs, uh, they have to go through gate examination. So yeah. gate examination, for a major gate examination is the first year examination. That is a mass physics chemistry. Then only the subjects are all coming at a later right. stage. So mm -hmm. they, may have, they can prepare for this. More than that, the one one uh, uh, thing which is becoming popular now, which was not earlier, is a startup. Yes. The startup. The startup mm -hmm. concept was picked up in a very big way. Mm -hmm. So I see a large uh, uh, movement of uh, students, uh, especially who are now passing out from final year and all. Uh, many of them are getting into the startup. Mm -hmm. Earlier, the persons, uh, this was not more. This was not... Uh, there was something, but it's not now it has gone as a movement and also has become sort of a necessity for some people. Yeah. So when you're looking for startup, I, uh, I actually I have a habit of interviewing uh, students uh, who are doing very well in their uh, career. Okay. So I, I used to interview them. Uh, they, I used to interview persons who have uh, become, you know, IAS, uh, engineering mm -hmm. service and all. Other persons who are done startup. You know, if you start about 100 startups, 90 startups fail. 10 startups only come up, out of which two or three uh, go to the top. 
Mm. So I have to interview those our own alumni who are getting into that uh, top uh, uh, top level, mm. and uh, uh, and also uh, persons who are doing very well in the industries. Yes. So one common point I got from all of them. Please underline this. One common point is they started their preparation in the first year. Mm. It's, it's not that if, when everybody starts, uh, they start the preparation in the final year and uh, also after finishing the course, they started the preparation in the first year. You see, the first year, whether you know or not, you may have to, uh, you know, you may have to uh, work out something. You may have to plan mm -hmm. something. Right. So that's where the opportunity of uh, staying back at home, you know, maybe you may be staying back for another three months, maximum mm -hmm. three months. But uh, 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 there is an opportunity of staying back at home where you can prepare for the future. That is, yeah. a, you know, that, that, that's also a good. The, this is a good. So I, I see uh, co-curricular, extracurricular activities will pick up. Once you go there, you can pick up. But mm -hmm. again, skill you can develop when you're at home. Right. Uh, in fact, Amrita Varshini, I'm seeing today also, I saw one, you know, you know they, they are doing a, a program online and all. You know, they, they are uh, saying. So if you're, a, if you're good in music, dance, or uh, you know, journalism, dramatics, mm -hmm. anything, photography. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the right time to increase the talent. Mm -hmm. you, you are finding time for doing this. Right. And, uh, that's another. So I, f I feel this, uh, 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 this, uh, op this uh, pandemic is an opportunity. Mm -hmm. I also am not all that against. Uh, uh, I do appreciate that online is creating some mental tension. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Affecting your mental health. I, I just appreciate that and it's, I agree with that. But online is going to continue. You, mm -hmm. Even if uh, you go to uh, you, you go to the college, uh, the online method, see, we, we started online in uh, NIT somewhere in 2013, 2012. Mm -hmm. right. And then we had virtual classroom and all, all those things. Mm -hmm. Also, another concept of flipped classroom has come. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you are a flipped classroom is, uh, you know, you are going to uh, classroom for taking the lecture. You are coming back to hostel for doing the homework. Hmm. We just flip it. So right. you go you take the lecture whenever you want at whatever the time on the day or night at the hostel at your convenient time and you hmm. go to the class and do the assignment and discussions. So right. online is going to continue. We may have to get adjusted. But Practice yourself how to how to manage the heart uh, online, rather than creating a tension in you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, definitely, it creates creates a tension. But maybe yogic practice, all these things may have to be done. It is a, it's a fact. It's a fact. I I think I, I see it as an opportunity. Okay. But uh, provided we appreciate what is the problem it is going to create. Thanks. Oh. Definitely, anxiety is the big issue. Depression is a big mm -hmm. issue. You don't follow what is going on in this. That is another thing. Mm -hmm. Even in the class, you may not follow many things. But uh, in the online, that is still more. You know, you mm -hmm. don't follow what it is, uh, what is going on. Mm -hmm. So what to do? No, don't worry. Actually, all the fingers are, see some subjects, if you are not able to perform well, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It's uh, OK. It's, it's OK. It's all part of the game. <laughs> That's right. how I see it. Right. I think this will definitely make a lot of people feel a lot better when it comes to looking for that motivation, when you start looking at this as an opportunity to improve a skill or develop a skill sometimes. And there's another question that ties up to what we just spoke about. Um, there's this feeling of not being good enough that a lot of students face. In general, uh, as we've seen this in like college communities, just the campuses itself. And with, like we spoke about, the online classes and there is no physical aspect involved in it. So more often than not, you take it for granted. And it's harder to perform in that sense. And that could really mean that sometimes you're not really, am I really learning something? Or you, you tend to feel like a failure, whether you're not sure of whether this is really getting you anywhere because there's just so much uncertainty around it. So what would you like to tell the students that might be feeling this way of just not being good enough or like a failure or something like that? Uh, this is uh, this is a very very the, the, the question what you have asked is a 
reflection of what is going on currently. You see, uh, the feeling of uh, I'm not good in the subject is always there. Whether it's online or offline, it's always there. Hmm. And you need not be good. My perception is you need not be good. See, that's why I said all the five fingers are not good. You may be good in particular subject. You may be very bad in some other subject. And uh, in academics, it is uh, important, but we have to appreciate. In fact, we uh, we had a very... Uh, I had two two uh, instances where I, I got into mental tension. You know, two instances. One instance was, uh, you know, the one of the students... Uh, very good. In, uh, I, I when I was talking to the student, I knew that uh, you know the person is very good in uh, English, in writing, in journalism, and all. The the instance started like this uh, because I have a Facebook, and Facebook has got huge number of uh, friends for me. Casually, when I was looking at the Facebook in the night, mm-hmm. around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I got, I saw a question. How to commit a suicide? Right. So I was uh, wondering what is the what what is this? I was watching. It's, I, I thought it's sort of fun. After sometimes uh, somebody uh, uh, replied that uh, these are the ways to commit suicide. That is the answer for this. So this person replied, "No, no. My question is, what are the simple ways to commit suicide?" Uh, okay. The the. After some time, I got another reply came. You refer to Google uh, uh, the, the, this particular link. It gives the simple ways of committing suicide. So when, when I was seeing this, I was becoming a little bit panicky, and then I started. Uh, try to, I tried to find out who is that person, and uh, you know, I uh, I post a question. Who, you know, anybody knowing the phone number of this person? Mm-hmm. I woke up our warden. You know, the uh, the, the mm-hmm. warden, and then. Uh, they went and checked up in the admin. They opened up administration and then they found out the phone number and all those things mm-hmm. uh, in the middle of the night. And in the middle of the night, I contacted the student. Mm-hmm. Uh, the student took up the phone and uh, you now we started talking casually, for, you know, uh, because I was also, I happened to be in that place, in that particular state. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, it was not, it was a holiday. So okay. I, I used to be in that state for almost a year. Mm-hmm. So, see, the, the student must be wondering what is happening because I was I was going on talking for almost one, one hour uh, narrating about her own state, mm-hmm. you know, about the beautiful things and all. But uh, by two o'clock, I disconnected and then uh, I kept quiet. Next day, I rang up the student's father. Mm-hmm. He was not responding. But the fact was that the father was not aware of what is going on. But then he realized when I was uh, telling him that the student is very good in English and in communication. And uh, the, the student has joined uh, a difficult department in NIT. And uh, she and uh, the person had many, many areas. You know, a brilliant student, first year to second year, number of areas. Mm-hmm. Getting an area for an NIT student is a first career is a shock because they study very well in the school mm-hmm. and the rank holders. But they come and see the first time failure. It's a first time failure. It's a great shock for anybody. Okay. But what happens next is, afterwards, they are accustomed to that failure. So if it's one area, two area, three areas, it doesn't really matter. So it goes on. They don't. They don't find it a big issue. So this was a. This was a. But the, that suicide was avoided. But this was a major. Uh, uh, that was a major case study. That is. Uh, that is one I felt that a person should have a flexibility in doing. That's why we offer major courses, minor courses in uh, uh, NIT. You know, the academics, mm-hmm. minor courses, you can choose whatever you want. And then we increase the global electives. So yes. whatever the interest you want to have, you have the global electives. Apart from technical clubs and cultural clubs, uh, this, whatever you want to do, you do. Mm-hmm. But we, that is to be still opened up after some time. The education system is now, it is a engineering without borders. So institute will offer so many courses. Hmm. So I had to take whatever the courses uh, you want. And if you get the credit, uh, you know, 720 credit or 180, 180 credit, if you get, 
you will be given a degree hmm. you know that is one uh, one instant to be be had especially hmm. on the mental stress another was a very serious another was a very average student uh, he he in the final year hmm. uh, in one subject he scored uh, less than 3 marks uh, less than passed by 3 marks hmm he was approaching his professor number of times asking him to give the three marks he got admission for postgraduate program in some institute mm-hmm. uh, uh, for him it was a great achievement he was a good writer very good writer he yeah, in fact i uh, 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 in fact two two books of uh, this boy i released oh. you know, he is a very good writer mm-hmm. so but uh, then he couldn't get it so on, on a particular day he wrote a very nice four page suicidal report mm-hmm. typed it and put it in envelope sealed it made number of copies he went to the professor's room and who was there on the you know the students and all they he handed over the cover he handed over to the professor also the same cover and uh, you know the the professor was uh, thinking that he is giving some petition and all but he consumed uh, poison in front of him and he collapsed Mm-hmm. afterwards it was a tough time for for us uh, for us to take him to the hospital mm-hmm. and revive him and all we revived of course after mm-hmm. it took about 7 months for him to come back mm-hmm. so but then the question was that in the suicide note what he addressed to me was he brought out a very clear cut point of you know i i am not done i i am not good in one particular subject i am failing does it mean that i am not fit to be an engineer does it mean that all the four years what i have done is a waste mm-hmm. and uh, you see i had decided to quit i am going to die but i want you to correct the academic system and uh, so that at least future students will not have this problem mm-hmm. that is a serious question next day i called uh, the senate senate is a highest body no mm-hmm. i called the senate i gave the i uh, i Uh, read the uh, letter to them and asked them if uh, who who is responsible if uh, uh, the the student dies obviously they said administration administration i asked who the administration they said director is the administration so we are doing so many things in the campus and finally director becomes responsible for all these things i that's where we had that uh, almost two days continuous session uh, on senate we changed the entire academic system and we brought in the flexibility then what we call the formative assessment we brought in in fact one of the things formative assessment normally we go by subjective assessment by writing in the examination yes formatting is through open book collaborative learning over a period now for online learning teachers should convert themselves the academic system itself should convert into formative because that is going to create that is going to give lot of knowledge it is not what you are reproducing the examination which matters you may give importance to the examination to the extent of 30 to 40% but 70 to 60% should come through how much you understood the subject and online le- so the the issue which is coming up with online learning is not the issue of a computer and sitting in front of computer and all it is not that we are not understood the system properly the learning system should be completely changed Hmm. and they should teach less and students should learn more and the assessment should be continuous and hmm. continuous by allowing the collab it is not a question of copying you are allowed to copy hmm. allowing collaborative learning allowing the open book examination giving the assignment which is tough which is done everywhere universally now it is being hmm. done that we have to do in this right this is the, the this is a very very uh, this is one question which is uh, to be answered by the faculty the administration and the students should get adjusted to that right okay there was there was a this, this is a good conversation definitely <laughs> we have more questions coming in in the chat i think we can take them now um, so that's okay so um, ranjit asks uh, i'll be able to see the question or you will be reading i can i can read it out sir okay i can, okay. I can read it out um, so ranjit asks if a lot of times people go through stressful situations but then they don't even know that they're going through that because of the lack of awareness and when you belong to like say a middle class family there is no awareness or understanding 
and how does uh, how does one uh, try to go about feeling this way without having the society and people around you not understanding or like maybe judging uh, the, the the emotions that you're feeling no it, it, it is a it is a it, this is the situation 70 to 80 percent of us are uh, facing mm -hmm. you know it is not a it, it's not only for a few uh, few set of boys and girls it is for mm -hmm. everybody right. uh, it, not only that alumni i'm having number of uh, 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 males from alumni, they, they, they are all getting into this uh, this type of uh, thing. They are all doing well at different uh, sides. So how do we manage the stress in, in this uh, when, when nobody is appreciating? One, one thing which I could see when I was uh, discussing, uh, uh, you know, you have to talk to somebody. Yes. It is not a question of uh, appreciation. You have to talk to somebody. You have to express the feeling. But when you talk to somebody, when you talk to some uh, your parents or somebody, they uh, it's a fact that they may not appreciate your problem. And uh, maybe they may think that it's a silly issue, very silly issue for them. And uh, you are creating a, a, a mountain of a mole. That, that's a normally anybody closer to you. Mm -hmm. But a close friend of yours, you know, uh, anybody, anybody whom you can share with, uh, definitely you should talk to that person and share. Once you say what is your problem, what you are feeling, the other person may not have a solution. He, definitely, they may not understand what you are talking. They may not have a solution. Even if they listen to you, what you are talking, it's okay. Of the of the issues will go down. Of the issues. In fact, all senior citizens, no people like me, when the children are not there, when you are alone and all, you see, they they have started. Uh, uh, you know, uh, when you go to the beach for morning walk. Mm -hmm. I see a number of them coming with uh, their dogs, okay. and many of them talk to their dogs. Mm -hmm. You see, th th that's a, that's one technique which people use of uh, mm -hmm. trying to express your feeling to somebody. When you are expressing, others may not uh, appreciate, but you will appreciate. Mm -hmm. You will appreciate what you are talking. When you are talking, when you are thinking and talking, your problem becomes very clear to you. That is that is important. That is important. Mm -hmm. The second step is the write down your problem, you know, rather than writing a, a problem when you are writing a drastic step, this is what has happened in my life, this is that, that and all. You start writing the problem, writing down the problem on a piece of paper, on a, in a diary, uh, it, is, it, is a, it is a clear cut indication first mm -hmm. that you are appreciating your problem. You see, mm -hmm. most of the cases, you, are, you yourself are not appreciating that you are having a problem. The question is very good. The, the person says that he, he he knows what is the problem, but others are not able to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. You write the problem. You write the problem. And then, uh, you know, when you write the problem, look at the problem. So you take some drastic, uh, you know, the, you, okay, you write the other solutions. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is, this is my problem. So what is going to happen? I'm going to fail. Mm -hmm. Or I'm not going to have a job. Right. Or my life is a failure. Mm -hmm. Something. You go on writing. Whatever you feel like, you write. But also write. Uh, also you write, okay, I can tackle this in a better way. So that's the next step. Right. So I, I'm going to die. Okay, suppose you write, I'm going to die. Okay, I'm upset, I'm going to die. So what I'm supposed to do? Not to die. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the one. So now... When you are having, in a, when he says it's a middle class, uh, pa pa parents, parents, ma ma middle class life is uh, uh, really a difficult life, especially both for the parents as well as for the students, because students are in the adolescent period and the parents are also in the mid career. You know, they are mm -hmm. also in the 40s and 50s. Mm -hmm. So, and also, there is a, I've seen there is a large, Generation gap mm -hmm. between the parent and uh, uh, students. The students, they really do not appreciate. There is a generation gap. So first thing is appreciate that your problem is there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Second, try to talk to somebody, mm -hmm. whoever it is. Mm -hmm. Nothing is there. Even to the wall also, you can talk. Nobody will think that uh, you are a mad fellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then you write down. 
what is that which is there mm-hmm. but the next step is what are the steps for this so this is where you get an idea at mm-hmm. least 50 to 60% of your uh, solution would mm-hmm. have come by now remaining 40% is mm-hmm. the one where you may need to consult somebody if there is a serious problem mm-hmm. 90% of the problem will go off just like that you know it is only created you know we are ourselves we think that the future is going to be bleak it is not bleak but we mm-hmm. think it is cool but everybody every individual would have gone through the good situation bad situation that like you are not the only person mm-hmm. right so that's it's a good question of course yeah thank you thank you ranjit for that question i think we had a quick question about uh, feeling pointless and unproductive because of online learning i think we already spoke about it so uh, no no make, be... it make right. it productive make it productive no no make it productive right unproductive it is unproductive definitely mm-hmm. definitely unproductive uh, but uh, uh, you make it productive make it productive what is that making productive you see if, uh, the online course whatever you are uh, taking mm-hmm. okay if you Uh, mm-hmm. if you are attending at, at, at attending the lecture mm-hmm. uh, you know actively or mm-hmm. passively it doesn't matter right even if you are going to uh, start see if you understand as i said first 15 minutes is the one where uh, you will observe mm-hmm. even if you attend the lecture for 10 15 minutes uh, with the active uh, uh, thing and you can forget about it but then you try to teach yourself the subject Mm-hmm. you know online uh, the the, the it will take lot of time to get adjusted because uh, uh, i don't think we cannot convert the teachers online in fact i am mm-hmm. advising university we are we are cha- we are training the all the teachers on this aspect now mm-hmm. right now i am focusing on this aspect of how to train the teachers uh, to take uh, you know uh, how to convert them into a uh, learners you know right. teaching is convert to learners no mm-hmm. so uh, Online learning, you you try to change it. You yeah. try to change it. Take the class, and mm-hmm. then take the notes, whatever you want. And perhaps your clubs will definitely your seniors will put you on the right track. Right. Okay. I think that's definitely a good answer. Uh, we have more questions coming in. Um, Shruti asks, uh, how can we communicate our mental struggles to our faculty and propagate awareness among them? as well because definitely um the college atmosphere is a combination of like your faculty the academicians and the students so how can we go about communicating our, our struggles to them this is uh, this is a uh, shruti's question is a is a reality uh the faculty appreciation of the students problem is uh, limited hmm. very limited in fact Uh, when i joined nit i had a, a swot survey you no know, strength weakness opportunity threat swot survey analysis done by you know stake key stakeholders like students faculty mm-hmm. alumni industries and all, you know, all all those people mm-hmm. some 3000 questions uh, we got it and then we try to f- understand what is the strength and the weakness of the uh, mm-hmm. issue the number of students came up 50 year old institute so many things came up highly qualified faculty and all mm-hmm. one of the weakness one of the very very uh, i should say strong weakness was mm-hmm. uh, faculty student relationship it was shown mm-hmm. as negative and uh, faculty not appreciating the stu- student uh, mental struggle is a uh, very much relevant uh, to the campus mm-hmm. relevant to the campus and it it is a it is relevant to any other campus but how do we communicate actually this is a, one thing the question is how how can we communicate our mental struggles to our faculty uh, uh, it is it is a it is a, it is a one thing which is the need of the hour hmm. it is the need of the hour perhaps you know the the, the things like uh, you know your uh, 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 you know hope is uh, hope mm-hmm. uh, hope hope type of uh, the community the student community is it, uh, suppose see if shruti cannot communicate to the faculty that uh, this is the one as an individual mm-hmm. okay. but as a group as mm-hmm. a club activity we can create uh, a program you know mm-hmm. instead of telling that i want to teach the students you create a program awareness program 
of a mental uh, uh, the struggles, mental struggles the students are undergoing, mm -hmm. and make them to contribute. That is, call them, call them, call the faculty to participate as mm -hmm. uh, you know panel members or something like that. And uh, you know they, this as a group, it has to be communicated. Mental struggles, any struggle, not only mental struggle. If I if I can tell you uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, we had some issues with the faculty. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, he was creating mischief uh, for over a long period using mm -hmm. his computer, but uh, but the students were not able to you know express that express mm -hmm. that because for two reasons one if because the marks will go down once mm -hmm. you complain about a faculty second there is no proof yeah. there is no proof about what he is doing yeah. but the fact was uh, some student because of the orientation program. Some students communicated this is the problem. They, they communicated this is the problem, but you are not able to prove this is the problem, but this is a fact. But then the alumni came to the alumni have gone out. So they came to the rescue and they gave uh, the what, what they gave the clear cut uh, thing of what is going on for the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. So once we came to know about it without involving the students, uh, I could sort out the issue by asking the faculty to go on leave. You know, he, I asked him to go on six months leave and I threatened him something and then sent him out. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that you have to communicate the struggles to be communicated. But as an individual, communicating the struggle is difficult. Right. Uh, as a group, it has to be communicated mm -hmm. and it could be a forum. But uh, the, if you inform the, you know, if it is a very serious problem, you can inform the uh, director straight away to do that. Uh, but uh, but this is a this is a very good question. The present uh, student council itself, mm -hmm. uh, they should. Uh, it's a sensitive issue. Right. That is, you are creating awareness among the faculty mm -hmm. uh, of the how to how to uh, you know yeah. how to get how to get communicated from the uh, students. Mm -hmm. At least they should receive it. Right. Absolutely. Good question. Thank you. Thank you, Shruti. And we have another question uh, where someone's asking, uh, professors have taken advantage of the flexible teaching curriculum by scheduling um, a lot of random assignments and burdening students. Um, is there a solution for this? And I think this has been something that's more prevalent because of the online uh, teaching system as well. No, There's it, no is the, it is true. It is true. Uh, uh, because the uh, scheduling random assignments and uh, burdening students is a uh, uh, okay, let the teachers do whatever they want, do whatever they want, because they also do not know what to do. Actually, mm -hmm. the fact is, uh, as I told you, they also do not know. See, they are also finding it a problem to uh, mm -hmm. take classes on online because uh, many of the faculty have seen that uh, they are not very serious. You know, they, they may send their students, mm -hmm. you know, research scholars, PhD scholars, and all. They may send the students to the uh, mm -hmm. thing. You may find about forty percent of the faculty are very se sincere. But others also they take it easy. Taking the class, they take it easy. In online, you cannot take it easy. You have to teach. Okay. You have to teach, and uh, you have to communicate. But uh, then, uh, their the random assignment is uh, one thing which uh, uh, which is not correct. You know, just like mm -hmm. that giving. But they should allow. Uh, uh, they should allow collaborative learning. Right. See, uh, let them give whatever the assignments. But then you must have a group. You must have a group and uh, face the challenge. Whatever the assignment they give, uh, if you are finding it difficult and everybody is stressed, uh, somebody can answer the first question, somebody can answer the second question, third question, but then you compile it together and uh, make it uh, comfortable so that it is. It is not. I am not promoting copying. I am mm -hmm. not promoting copying. Uh, what I am say, saying is a collaborative learning. Right. We understand. They let them give the random assignment. Mm -hmm. I don't know, understand what is the random assignment, but uh, something which is a uh, uh, not focused assignment, you know, right. differently. Mm -hmm. if, if, normally, I would give a good focus assignment to make to see that you are understanding the concept. Right. If they give a random uh, assignment and uh, ask them to uh, this mm -hmm. thing, it is not definitely okay, mm -hmm. but it's not definitely okay. Uh, but you have to go through that. That is one of the occupation hazard. <laughs> okay. you know? Don't give importance to that. That's, that's, <laughs> that's true. 
Okay. Uh, another question uh, that really ties up with uh, like mental health in college campuses is this feeling of inclusion for everyone. And we have a question from Anirudh regarding that. Um, what are your views on the inclusivity of like the LGBTQ communities uh, of students in the campus? Um, a lot of the time, it feels like it's very difficult to um, talk about the subject and give it due um, importance. Uh, this is, uh, in fact, I attended one of the uh, discussion on this uh, aspect of at NIT to mm -hmm. itself. You see, uh, this is uh, this is a very important question. And uh, uh, in fact, I appreciate I appreciate NIT Trichy because it has taken a lead. Mm -hmm. It has definitely taken a lead in creating an awareness on this. Definitely, mm -hmm. it has taken. A, I don't know how far. You know, the, my my experience was about two years back. How far it has gone in, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, definitely the creating the awareness in the students in the campus it has uh, gone up. Now, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, the. Uh, it is no more a sort of a, a issue in many places, mm. in many places. Okay. But uh, then I should say Trichy is a conservative place. You know, mm. Trichy is totally conservative place. Uh, mm. This is very, uh, you know, when we discuss about curfew and all, this point comes up quite often. Mm -hmm. Even though it is only 200 kilometers from uh, Chennai, Mm -hmm. a metropolitan city at 200 kilometers from Bangalore, another metropolitan mm -hmm. city. Trichy is a village, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, people have got their own views, okay. their own uh, thing. Uh, so if if, if, uh, if a major movement has to come from faculty and administration, it would take a lot of, it would it take uh, time. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a student initiative, uh, you know, it is a, uh, if we, it's afraid to talk. It's a, the, if the word to be under, uh, underlined is afraid to talk. Mm -hmm. That is to be converted into bold to talk. Mm -hmm. Know that afraid should be uh, uh, should be converted to bold. How mm -hmm. do we do that? How do we do that? So th th that is a, uh, that is a, a, a as such that is a responsibility of the student. See, I I strongly believe a student managed campus. What mm -hmm. are the issues you are creating? Uh, you know, you're, you're projecting, not creating, mm -hmm. you're projecting. You sort it out the students only. Don't expect the faculty or administrators to sort out your issue. Mm -hmm. And you create, a, a, you know, the, this is a very good. In fact, I really appreciate, a, you know, we, we brought somebody, see, one of the uh, uh, leading person in this uh, uh, thing is a vice president in uh, Wipro or uh, somewhere, actually, she holding a very high position. Mm -hmm. She gave a talk to NIT Trichy. I, okay. In fact, I talked to her. She mm -hmm. gave a talk, and uh, it's a good, it's a very good uh, person. Any other? I think we are running out of time. Is it okay? Any, no, any sir. We, we can. We can. It's okay. okay. Please, please go ahead. I'm pretty sure everyone's loving the session, so no worries. No, I kept a timer in front of oh. me. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so it depends on if you're free, though. Pardon? If you, if if you, it depends on how much time you have. No, no, I have, I have full time. I, okay. I, I will be. Then no worries. No worries. <laughs> For the slot. I have full time. There is no. Okay. Uh, this is a Sunday. Mm -hmm. In fact, well, one of the person, you know, the inclusivity is, uh, you know, you know, Big Boss, a program in Big Boss. Yes. You remember sir. that? Yeah. So <laughs> there is a Big Boss program in uh, Tamil. Right. Started about two, three weeks back. Mm -hmm. So one of the participants uh, in the Big Boss is also in this category. So okay. That's good. See, creating awareness among the society is going up in a hmm. comparatively better way. But creating an awareness in the campus is going to be a really a tough right. one. Mm -hmm. tough one. But, but we have a lot of questions. Everyone's really excited to have you. So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So we, can, we, can, we can take more if, if you'd like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have one more question now. Uh, we just uh, ironically just spoke about curfew. So we have Pooja who's asked a question. Um, how do you think the curfew system places a mental burden on, on the female students? And what would be a safe and practical solution um, to this? In fact, uh, this this is uh, one issue which is uh, which is a hot topic, which is a very hot topic. Uh, in fact, some of the things I couldn't do, you know, we we were we were going on increasing the curfew mm -hmm. time between mm -hmm. nine o'clock and then got it extended to 10, 11, and uh, almost it went up to eleven thirty. Mm -hmm. By the time our uh, chairperson changed and. Uh, 
Kumar Srinivasan became the chairperson, mm -hmm. and uh, she is a very strong uh, promoter of uh, you know uh, women uh, mm -hmm. empowerment and all. She was she she removed the uh, the timings for uh, women employee in mm -hmm. Bangalore after yeah. talking to the Bangalore administration chief minister and all. Mm -hmm. She was shocked to see NIT Trichy to have this type of uh, thing, mm -hmm. but then it didn't work. It didn't work out. Because it came back after her discussion with the faculty, it came back to 9:30. The reverse thing happened. Uh, but uh, the, the the equal opportunity the girl students are not getting, mm -hmm. especially the you know the extracurricular activities. Right. If you see academics, if you see if your own anybody's profile, mm -hmm. the profile one third of the profile only is academics. Mm -hmm. One third is going to extracurricular activity. Mm -hmm. One third goes for co-curricular activity. Right. The extracurricular activity and co-curricular activity, which is the decision factor for us to get, go up to higher education or for a placement, is the participation in the clubs. Hmm. The participation in the clubs, if you are not able to participate beyond 9 o'clock in the hmm. club activity, it becomes a problem. Right. It definitely becomes a problem. Hmm. Uh, the We worked out number of solutions. In fact, uh, the club activity, the student activity center, I, hmm. I thought of I shifted to the school, central school, with Kendri Vidyalaya was there. And then the idea was the, the girls' hostel and uh, the central school will be connected by a flyover right. so that uh, the girls can go straight away to that place and uh, there is nothing like hmm. curfew. Second, we tried to introduce that uh, battery car system right. so that battery car will uh, go around and uh, it's an open car battery car will going around anybody can say uh, for the security to the gate or mm -hmm. whatever the thing we have we introduce some 20 30 50 battery cars it will be continuously on the run mm -hmm. and then we try to in increase the uh, lighting and the security thing which is there in the other universities mm -hmm. but uh, it is the fact is it is uh, causing problem with a group of students. I don't th say that all the girls, uh, they want mm -hmm. like this. Uh, definitely the uh, uh, the girls who are aspiring to become somebody, they feel hurt with this uh, mm -hmm. with this thing. Uh, perhaps the one, one is, of course, uh, now in the, now, uh, uh, in the pandemic, mm -hmm. I don't think when you go back also to the institute, it will be curfew for everybody, not only for girls. Right. Uh, maybe nobody will be allowed to move around because this will continue yeah. for another one or one and a half, yeah. two years. It will go like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, there must be a, some system because the uh, this is not this is not there in uh, many of the nineties. Mm -hmm. right. yes. But uh, mm -hmm. Trichy, as I said, it's a conservative conservative mm -hmm. place. Right. Practical okay. solution for this is mm -hmm. permitting the students to move and provide them the security. Provided mm -hmm. them for the security. This is possible. Permitted right. them to move. It's not necessary to move to the other side, at least to the what they want is the academic library, gate, mm -hmm. some areas. Some areas. Right. That is possible to I think that is possible to satisfy the requirement. Mm -hmm. the, you may have to you, you have to continue your demand. That's all. That's a it's a mm -hmm. continuous right. <laughs> administrative decision. Because in this decision, parents are also against it. Mm. Parents are happy if you are uh, in the curfew, you know? mm -hmm. right? <laughs> that, that is, they, they don't support that is a generation, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely, that's very fact, I have two generations gap, you know. I'm <laughs> above you by two generations, but even then, <laughs> some of it, they, they, yes. mm -hmm. no, we we're glad you feel that way, so that, that's <laughs> nice. Um, I think we have more questions coming in. Um, I think uh, Muthuswami he asks, how, how do you? understand and control your mindset i think that's well, this is this is of course uh, uh, this you may have to practice because mm -hmm. uh, i do practice yoga you okay. see uh, the uh, understanding the mind understanding the mind is not a question understand we need not understand our mind but uh, we can uh, we can control our mind mm -hmm. the way we should control our mind because our studies require our focused attention Right. You know, for uh, uh, anyhow, we are, but we are not getting the focus because we get number of uh, distractions. So when mm -hmm. you open that book only, you will know. You you'll think about your father, you'll think about your mother, or something else happening somewhere. Mm 
or you think about movie and all <laughs> but when you close the book everything will go off you'll be all right you know so that means we need not understand the mind we should control the mind controlling the mind needs a focus so when you are uh, focusing on some something uh, then you are going to achieve that that is that when you are focusing on any anything which is non achievable also you'll be able to achieve so the mind control comes by mind if it is controlled it will be focused that comes by practice hmm. so how do i practice that is a yoga right you see when you are doing the pranayama and uh, you know the uh, sitting posture and then focus on meditation or something like that <laughs> meditation need not need not be on rama krishna or something you know you mm-hmm. can even meditate on uh, uh, your own favorite person you know any anybody you can meditate on a movie you, you can you can meditate on anything else but you should meditate only on that particular object right and you should not allow any other thing to come in mm-hmm. so this is uh, one one uh, uh, thing second what they say what they say is all the issues mental issues you whatever the issues you are having you when you are having the issues you think about it mm-hmm. you think about it before you sleep and then you sleep so when you sleep the when you are sleeping we are sleeping but the brain doesn't sleep mm-hmm. so they get into uh, you know uh, that, that that works on many 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 things because they doesn't have they don't have any distraction you know when you are sleeping mm-hmm. you don't have any distraction so right. the brain works on that but when next day when you uh, wake up you would have found some solution for this mm-hmm. this is one practice everybody is uh, most of the people have found uh, uh, you know even yeah. all great scientists have done uh, this type of thing you know they mm-hmm. they they come to a solution very very right. difficult problems okay. yes we have one more question um ranjit from ranjit again i think he asks is there any awareness program or something that people can be a part of um on a global or like india level that um they can go into to understand and be more aware about mental health is there something you'd like to say i know the this is actually the uh, uh, the programs of uh, you know the it is uh, uh, you know the uh, what what is that um, the on, on the it's a very popular topic everywhere mm-hmm. globally this is a very popular topic mm-hmm. uh, you know the to make aware of the mental health globally and mm-hmm. india level if someone wants to be part of awareness program how mm-hmm. to be Mm-hmm. you see this uh, mental awareness uh, uh, please google it in fact there are many 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 awareness pro- uh, many programs coming where the government is focusing right see, today the indian government is also focusing mm-hmm. on mental health right and uh, uh, in fact last year there was a major uh, uh, program of uh, uh, mental health in the universities and all mm-hmm. <coughs> and there used to be number of uh, uh, programs they they in, but the solution they are coming out is something impractical in fact some one program what i attended was about uh, 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 you know mental health program they arrived at a course on uh, ethics and values mm-hmm. you know that has got no meaning for that mm-hmm. you know they, but uh, uh, you google it there are there are plenty of uh, 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 in fact this is this is it is good in fact it is good if you become certified in fact this is a good uh, the thing you are calling us awareness program awareness program but you may become but once you are aware of this when you are creating the awareness you are becoming a coach so then there is a see the uh, what we call as counselors mm-hmm. counseling counseling is a important thing for any campus activity we need large number of psych, uh, counselors today mm-hmm. all the counselors are coming from psychological background and they talk about theories but when you are a student of engineering and when you are talking about a problem mm-hmm. or if you have faced such a problem in your life you are creating a real life case study right so this is going to be useful in fact uh, the alumni who are all contacting me after 5 years of experience 10 years of experience is because of i have gone through uh, mm-hmm. that type of issues repeatedly in my life i have seen my ups and downs yeah absolutely that's good mm-hmm. right i think we have another question from rahul who asks uh, ashoka is located in a village i think sonipat and how did they create a good environment on campus and is it something that we can apply to our campus as well 
No, uh, what is he meaning by Ashoka? Is it Ashoka think, University? Yes, I think so, Ashoka University. Is he meaning Ashoka University? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Huh? No. I think I think he means the Ashoka University, which uh, is I think. Um, yeah, it's the Ashoka University, which is in uh, Sonipat, which um, okay. they have created this uh, safe like safe sort of a right. atmosphere about yeah. this. So he's talking about Ashoka University. Yes. So good environment in campus. That is a uh, Ashoka University is uh, one. Uh, there is one uh, Triple IT at Hyderabad. You mm -hmm. know, Triple yes. IT Hyderabad. It's a famous institute. Mm -hmm. So. The, the campus and also Benares University, that is IIT BHU. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, there is uh, uh, one more in uh, Bhutan, Bhutan Institute. Th these are the people, these are the universities which are given importance to mm -hmm. the mental uh, health of the students. Uh, they are doing it as a, uh, you know, as a practice for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Ashoka University is a part of it. You know, Ashoka University is a late addition to this, and these people have gone much beyond. But uh, uh, by one, one, what you are doing is, uh, see, Ashoka University is also focusing on fine arts. You mm -hmm. know, what we require in uh, NIT also, it's a, a good environment. Fine, see, uh, uh, you, you know, always people talk about STEM, science, mm -hmm. technology, engineering, management. Now, STEM has gone to background. STEAM has come. So, Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mm -hmm. right. uh, uh, management. So the fine arts is taking a lead. That's mm -hmm. also coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Ashoka University is focusing on some of the subjects like this. Mm -hmm. In fact, they, they are taking as a, it is non-curriculum. Non it's a non-curriculum activity, but it's through discussions. Right. Some universities have started on public discussions, mm -hmm. public where we you are having a, a what is that called coffee 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 club 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 meet some discussions are there no? right right uh, yes club clubhouse house. clubhouse clubhouse yes. something like clubhouse mm -hmm. uh, see people start you know you start the topic mm -hmm. you, you, uh, the creating awareness is a fantastic the clubhouse is a very good uh, thing uh, mm -hmm. like, like what you are doing is also another clubhouse like that but mm -hmm. in the clubhouse people can come talk mm -hmm. and they can leave also so similar okay. uh, thing mm -hmm. the clubhouse type of uh, thing if you are taking a topic on on a particular topic on mental health how to control the mental health of the first year students mm -hmm. freshers how do we uh, the uh, for final year students who are not getting the proper university admission or they are not getting employment they they are under stress so how to take the stress out of them and the people who are doing the course they are obviously under stress Mm -hmm. with this, uh, what is that complicated assignment questions? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, that could be a thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Ashoka is located in a village. is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's okay. So on pattern. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's all. It doesn't mean uh, where uh, NIT Trichy is also another village. That's uh, from my perception. Right. So, uh, NIT Trichy, you can create a very good uh, thing by creating by creating awareness. The radio is a very good, uh, you are having the Tamachu radio with you, no? mm -hmm. uh, yes. campus radio. Campus radio is a good uh, thing. Mm -hmm. uh, discussions are, now it is global. Don't do anything local, nothing mm -hmm. to be done within the campus. Now right. that everything has come on the line, mm -hmm. you have all your club activities globally. And mm -hmm. that, that's a good good practice. <laughs> Raul okay. can do that. I don't know whether it's an alumni or uh, uh, thing. Oh. If it's an alumni, you start your global, if you're a client, Student, you can do it. That'll definitely help Rahul. Is there anything in particular, some sort of activity that you would recommend that we follow at NIT that might add to this? For, it's a question uh, for me or for Rahul? This is this is for you, sir. This is just me adding it all. Okay, what is the question? Is there any particular activity that you would suggest that we add on to like create that awareness and like make it more like like say something like how he says he feels Ashoka has a good environment? Something that NIT can do other than the radio. No, no, or... This is not. This is a multiple of uh, multiples of each person who is mm -hmm. uh, uh, asking a question. No, mm -hmm. he or she can start their own club. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there can be hundreds of clubs. See, today you are talking about mental health. Mm -hmm. So another person can talk about yoga, meditation. Right. Another person can talk about uh, you know the uh, assignment, teaching, learning methodology, assignments, and all. Mm -hmm. So the 
okay and it, it could be a global could be global mm. or participate more in the quora quora is a very good uh, forum okay. so you ask questions ask mm. questions and participate and then you create discussions mm. or nowadays people are focusing on uh, uh, you know linkedin is very good uh, thing linkedin right. you can raise a question mm-hmm. and you'll find hundreds of answers and mm. then you make a white paper on this you see you'll find any question what you are mm-hmm. asking uh, people will share their experience people love to share their experience mm. and then you can connect with them and then uh, you can, you have a online you know, there is no expenditure you have a online discussion with them and uh, make all the students yeah. to uh, mm-hmm. you know uh, attend that program in fact i i see these are all the uh, you know even though you say people are depressed with the online uh, mode of mm-hmm. the, uh, learning this is the advantages we are gaining out of online learning right you, right. you can close the computer if you don't want to listen to the class <laughs> you know you can sleep if you want <laughs> you know you cannot afford to do that in the class but right. you can still focus you can still focus right and i think it all boils down to a uh, choice and like what do you do in that given moment of that particular That's moment right. Uh, we have another question from Ritwik. Actually, we have two of them. Uh, how how to wake up early, like at four or five a.m. And it's it's. I find it very difficult to do that. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? In fact, I used to be a, a late uh, getting a person, but it's mm-hmm. a practice. Nowadays, I get up at four o'clock. Right. And uh, by by four thirty, I'm out of the house. Right. I so. go to the terrace and walk. or i go mm-hmm. to the beach and walk so mm-hmm. it's a question of practice it's a question of practice the reason uh, uh, the reason we introduced uh, the the uh, orientation program waking up at 5 o'clock waking a bell and uh, giving tea by 5:30 mm-hmm. and the people have to come to the yoga ground by 6 o'clock mm-hmm. is to uh, make it as a practice what they say is uh, whatever you practice for 21 days mm-hmm. uh, it is very difficult for you to go back on that right uh, for 21 days if you practice that i will mm-hmm. not smoke mm-hmm. it is uh, it is good it, it, then you will find it difficult to go back again to smoking okay if you start walking for 21 days it's good when you start getting up at 4 o'clock 5 mm-hmm. o'clock and all some of see some by habit uh, you know some of us are uh, study till late in the night Mm-hmm. we see movie as well as study late in the night right. some of us get up at 4 o'clock mm-hmm. but getting up at 4 o'clock people do shine in fact people who have come up uh, in their life mm-hmm. they were all interviewed they mm-hmm. were all interviewed and the, most of them have uh, answered that uh, their mm-hmm. morning schedule is uh, mm-hmm. starts at 4 o'clock okay thank okay. you the famous uh, what is the chief minister rnt ramarao his mm-hmm. program starts at 4 o'clock you know that right. You know, as a politician, he gets up at four o'clock, and then uh, uh, it's four o'clock to six o'clock. It's called Brahma Mohurtam, and mm-hmm. uh, traditionally people say that whatever mm-hmm. you do during the Brahma Mohurtam time mm-hmm. is going to be highly productive. Right. So within the two hours, you will achieve what you cannot achieve, what you may be able to achieve in the next five six hours. Right. Okay. Practice, practice, and practice. If you are not getting it, leave it. That's all. Okay. We can. <laughs> he's not getting adjusted leave it at that yeah. place that's a great hmm. okay. i think that that'll definitely help with it i think practice that's that that should do yeah. um we have another question from dev shah he asks um, sports activities became really good stress reliever before the pandemic and how do we promote those in a uh, post covid or like amidst the pandemic when you have a fear of covid in your mind you know this may go off perhaps after uh, you know even though you may join the institute by i don't know when it is maybe by november december january whatever or next semester let us say mm-hmm. uh, it will continue for another 3 months if you see yeah but uh, gradually this will go off mm-hmm. it will go off and uh, the campus of course uh, uh, you know uh, sports uh, we created sports activity was now we created about 27 grounds mm-hmm. of yeah. sports so the activities are good so mm-hmm. wait for the permission to come and uh, uh, the, it's a good stress reliever so till uh, till uh, till you are uh, allowed to play hockey football cricket mm-hmm. you run right see running nobody uh, stops run walking nobody mm-hmm. stops so that that itself is a very good uh, 
uh, you know, uh, a very good stress lever. Mm -hmm. you know? that, that's a really good uh, stress lever. Jump, any vibration, mm -hmm. any vibration uh, is a good stress lever. Right. Jumping up and down or, you know, do whatever, the thing. release your stress. They say mm -hmm. laughing therapy and all this, your yeah. stress. I think they'll definitely take that um, into note. But uh, I think this was this was a good set of questions, actually. Thank you to everyone that put uh, put questions into the chat. Um, we, we hope you answered all of it. Um, but again, bringing it all together um, on a closing note, this has been something that uh, we as a as the HOPE team have been wanting to do for a while, uh, talk about mental health, and especially with someone in academia who's been here, who's experienced. So what would you like to tell all the students that are watching this right now students faculty anyone um on just ways to make it better for themselves and for the people around them because that's how you form a community where you can be more understanding more sensitive and aware so that you can seek help but also be able to provide help when someone asks for it you know the basic mantra of the whole discussion all discussion all aspects of whatever we have discussed Everything is homing around what is called concern. C O N C E R N. Concern. Yes. See, when I am concerned, when I am concerned about you, mm -hmm. uh, then I, I take interest in you. Mm -hmm. So I get upset if I find something wrong, mm -hmm. and then try to correct you, and mm -hmm. I appreciate you when you are doing this. So when I have the concern for the society, uh, we have. We appreciate what is having coming in the society, or we try to help the society. Uh, you know, we have the concern for the society. Yes. The, whenever we uh, the whole the 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 magnetic you you specializing the magnetism the magnetic catch mm -hmm. of uh, you know attracting the mental healthness mm -hmm. is the concern. Mm -hmm. Concern for your fellow people, concern for your work, concern for your, uh, you know, the environment everywhere. When you have the concern, again, mm -hmm. the the same concern will be reflected back on you. Mm -hmm. uh, they talk about uh, humanity, you know, art of giving. Yes. When when you when you give something, you get something. Yes. It may not be from the same person to whom you are giving, but maybe from somebody. When you continue with your concern, um, you know, that concern becomes, uh, uh, we don't have any much of a aim of, a, mm -hmm. you know, I have to get benefited and all. Right. But automatically we'll get benefited. Mm -hmm. So the concern, because of concern, because I, I was trying to tell you about, you talk to people, mm -hmm. you so that your uh, stress will be relieved, mm -hmm. uh, you, you communicate, you write down and all. Everything becomes possible when you have concern. Right. When you have concern, that means you are having a concern on your own self also. Hmm. Self concern, you, your own, your own mental mental health. You are concerned about this, and you are hmm. also concerned about your parents. Every, right. Everybody. So if you if you do some something happens to you, it, 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 it's a concern for everybody. Right. Good. Yeah. It's a good discussion. Good discussion. Very focused discussion. Nice. I yeah. enjoy. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. We had such a pleasure talking to you. We would we would completely would totally love you love for you to like come back as a as our director. No, that's just, that, that <laughs> I, we, that we, I love this discussion. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you so for much giving for this opportunity. Thank you. Good. Thank you so all much. the best. All the best to you, Samia, and all the best to all our friends. Yes, thank you, sir. It was, it was great talking to you. Hopefully, we'll get to interact with you again soon. Best wishes. Okay. Yeah, Good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir.